It's for you and it's for me. See how we the place to be. It's for you and it's for me. Look to first I ask for me and then I need great company and I need gold. Right now, right now, now. It's time to go. Right now, right now, now. It's for you the place to be. It's for you and it's for me. Look to first I ask for me and then I need great company and I need gold. Right now, right now, now. It's time to go. Right now, right now, now. It's for you the place to be. It's for you and it's for me. Look to first I ask for me and then I need gold. All right, all right. Great evening, everybody. I definitely want to say welcome to our Thursday night team call for each and every one of you that are jumping on here tonight. Uh, let me go ahead, everybody. All right, all right, all right. So yes, great evening, everybody. Welcome again to our Thursday night team call. This call takes place every, this Zoom takes place every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I can tell you it's always exciting. Any opportunity that Nate and I have to actually come before you, to be able to just share with you, to be able to uh, find out what questions you all have, uh, to answer your questions, to help you move forward, for you guys to know and understand that what you have said yes to is something very powerful. All you got to do is implement. The speed of implementation is everything. Go for it and now go out and win. And so I'm coming before you tonight, you know, definitely, um, uh, just, just really getting over something that, that a, a little cold that tried to come upon me over the last 48 hours. So not exactly 100, but I can tell you I am on those chaga shots, taking my chaga and my Nutriverse around the clock. And I know that the, as a result of these products that I definitely have cut, cut out, but probably could have lasted for a whole a longer time. Um, just because of these amazing products. And so, um, you know, just want to say out there, I see my phenomenal business partner, my husband, Mr. Nathan McCray. Can you can, make sure we can hear you out there? Chime in. Hey, I hear you. Can you hear me? All right. I hear you loud and clear. Wonderful. Awesome. So team tonight, we're going to talk about a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, uh, definitely want to take the time to welcome all of you that this may be your very first call your very first zoom i want to say congratulations welcome to our team welcome to the best yes that we know without a shadow of a doubt um is going to be the very best yes that you could ever make in life uh because you said yes to an amazing company total life changes tlc the place to be is for you and it's for me we're changing lives all over the entire world and now is the time in which you want to come in you want to run hard. You see, the summer months, as we're entering these summer months in this industry, um, and I put it in our group yesterday, that many times uh, it's, it's kind of a saying out there that many people say that, you know, this is the season in which in our industry people start to slow down. But there's actually a network marketing lie, for real. This is the season in which it's not a time to slow down. What ends up happening is people start to fall into summer mode, like holiday mode, right around the holiday season time. But they fall into summer mode because of the weather is nice, they wanna go out, they wanna do things with the family and things like that. But I can guarantee you that the person that says, I'm going to turn up during the summer, the person that says that I am going to push harder during the summer, the person that says, you know what, I understand that we got some products out there that's helping these people get these summer bodies, and I need to get it out to the masses. I need to make sure that I'm connecting and collaborating with as many people as I possibly can. You are going to be the ones that end up reaping the benefits in the, in the winter months as we now run through the summer into the fall when it's back to school, and now people are, are looking for a way and they're looking for a way to not only get healthy at the top of the year with the number one uh, New Year's resolution of losing weight, but they're also looking for ways to make some extra money. So those that stay in the game and go hard, guarantee that you are going to be the ones that's light years ahead. But if you're that person that kind of, you know, uh, falls off during the summer months because of doing, you know, everything under the sun and not taking the time to really implement your business 
during the season, knowing, again, God first, your family, and then your business, keeping those things in that order, but identifying the time that you are going to put into your TLC business and treating it like a business, because when you treat it like a business, you're going to get paid like it's a business. But if you treat it like a hobby, then you're going to get those hobby checks that we talk about all the time, and you can't be mad at it because you only are treating it like a hobby. But for those that treat it like a business and go hard, watch what will happen. But if you allow yourself to not do that, then you're going to actually set yourself back 90 days, the summer months, whereas all of us are ahead because we never stop moving. And we're pushing the pedal all the way to the floor during the summer months and now leveraging those that are out and about, those that are happy, those that are smiling because the sun is shining, those that are happy because they're seeing the butterflies and the flowers bloom and all of this and that. And now you're able to go out and to make some friends because they're happier. People are happier during the summer months than in the winter months where, where it's cold and you know, you got to be bundled up. And so now you're using this and you're leveraging this in order to go out and to make some new friends and to meet some people. All right. So um, first and foremost, a couple of things that I just want to share as we're getting started. I want to give a huge shout out to every single person that has um, already participated in our TLC conversations. Huge shout out to our team. This, this has been our, we just finished our second week of creating this platform for you guys. We created this platform because we realized uh, as we sit back and we, we see uh, different stories, you see the before and after pictures, we see how people are falling in love with these products every now and again as we're, we go on social media. We see some of the tenacity of, of so many people and so many stories in which a lot of times we don't even know these stories exist. And we can have conversations with people and they're telling us, oh my goodness, the products did this. I, I went from this size to that size. And, we, and, th and those, those are the stories. There's some stories out there that we don't even know about. So we created this platform, Nate and I, um, called TLC Conversations, in which this is for you guys, okay? Many times... Um, in this industry, unless you're a, a top a, a top leader or, or um, you know just just someone who's you know been able to do some 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 amazing things financially, you never have the opportunity to really for, for, for the world to hear your story. And so we wanted to do something different so that we can really highlight our team, highlight the stories that are out there, and really give you the opportunity to leverage this platform, leverage the connection. So that now you can be promoted, you can let people know, hey, jump on tonight, hear my story. And now not only that, but leverage the stories of your teammates, leverage all of these TLC stories. Now you can invite people to hear so that they can see that there's somebody beyond you that's actually having some results, that's falling in love with these products, and that is definitely out there, you know, um, their life is being changed as a result of their yes. So for all of you that are leveraging it, congratulations. For those of you that are not leveraging it, hey, take the time. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Remember, every Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to be live at tlcconversations.com, www.tlcconversations.com. Share it out, invite. There'll be a banner that we post. Post the banner, share the banners, because promotion, you have to know that becoming a master promoter is one of the keys to success. Write that down, master promoter, and mass, you got to become a master at exposing, all right? So you massively expose. So any opportunity that you have in order to promote, in order to promote something, in order to promote yourself, in order to now expose the opportunity, you want to leverage those opportunities in order to make sure that you're putting people in front of it because that is going to help you to keep your pipeline very, very full. And that's the key here. You fill up the pipeline so that, you know what, every time that the, pipe, the, the pipeline is so full that it's a constant flow coming through. When that pipeline begins to dry up, that's when the doubt starts to come in. That's when you wonder why, okay, is this for me? That's when you feel like quitting. But as long as you continue to work towards filling the pipeline with people, right? People in order to purchase the products. That's all we do. We move products over here at Total Life Changes. So the person that moves the most products creates the most success. And when you have a, have a team that's now moving products, that's going to now increase the level of success that you end up having over here. So tlcconversations.com, that's Monday through Thursday, um, taking place now for you guys. 
And then also, I want to say, go out and like the page, okay? Because right now, we're leveraging and we're broadcasting through a platform called Be Live. But eventually, we want to uh, broadcast through this page. We got to get this page promoted uh, so that people know that it exists, so that now we'll get the, the, um, the views and all of that. But total life-changing conversations. Total life-changing conversations. There's a page on Facebook. Go like the page. Get other people to like the page. Because right now on that page, every call, I think at least I pretty, mo pretty much have put every call on there, every call that has taken place so far, we've shared it to that page. So this is also going to be a platform on which you can leverage. You know, you want to send somebody to a specific, maybe even, maybe once you come on, and now you want to drive them to go back and watch the replay of you sharing your testimony. Well, instead of going through all of our pages and figuring out, okay, which one was it? All of these lives are going to be on this one page, and we may begin to incorporate some other things, some before and afters, and things of that nature, a page in which now you can leverage as a promotional tool in order to be able to share it. Uh, with others who are wanting to find out more about our products, to hear about the stories, and all of the lives that are being changed here as a result of a yes. So that's the first thing. So the second thing, all right, that page. Also, too, a lot of you are new. If you haven't liked the Total Life Changes, the TLC headquarter page on Facebook, make sure you go out and you like that page, okay? Because every day at 2 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, they go live. You got Jack and John, they go live Monday through Thursday. And then on Fridays, we all look forward to Fun Fridays, okay? Because we know on Friday that they're going to have a, some type of a special. There's gonna be some type of a BOGO happening, some type of deal in which at the end, everybody is running frantic in order to try to be one of the first 100, 200 people in order to get that deal, right? And if you're smart and you want to take advantage of it, you'll have your app, your stuff pulled up, ready to rock and roll, so that as soon as it goes, you're boom, we got some professionals here in the team um, in which we always end up getting these deals. And so when you practice and, get, and you get good at it, you'll start to get some of these, these bonuses. But even now, Monday through Thursday, they give, they give away money every day. You know, they and I have won several times. Money uh, just for participating. All you got to do is get on and comment. And so your name is chosen. We, we won money. Several people from our team have won money, like serious money. We know Sean Jackson used, she won like $700. Valencia Square Bellamy, she won like $1,200. Somebody else, I want to say, um, won like $300. So we've had C4G, we definitely have represented, uh, you know, on that platform, taking home money. Uh, and huge congratulations to all of the, the weight loss contest winners, too. I know that um, Mary uh, Morris, uh, who is, she's on vacation right now, kept her, her customer, Linda, right? Her customer, Linda, literally was featured uh, in Fort Wayne. She won the TLC weight loss contest. Uh, I think she's down like maybe 67 pounds. And I was watching a little bit of that video on her story the other day. So make sure that you're entering. You know, all of you have these amazing testimonies and you're not entering to win the contest, all right? And you should. Every single month, you should be going to tlccontest.com, all right? If, if you guys want to put this in the chat or whatever, but um, these, these websites, these links, tlccontest.com. Every month, right now, it's open for you to enter the contest. The next stop is Washington, D.C., July 19th and 20th, I believe. Right, July 19th and 20th, uh, Washington, D.C. That's the next stop. So therefore, go and upload your story. You have nothing to lose. You have everything to win, a free trip, a makeover, your hotel being paid for, and one of those water rowers. Matter of fact, I, I, I want, I'm going to ask John Carr if I can put my little belly fat story in there, Nate, so we can take home one of them, <laughs> one of them water rowers, right? I want one in my house, right? with the TLT logo. So enter, keep entering every single month until you become the winner. That's it, just copy and paste every month. And one day, guess what? You're gonna get a phone call and you're gonna win because it's crazy. We have all of these stories, hundreds of thousands of stories here in TLC. And when I go there every month to vote, it's such a few amount of stories, which guess what? Team, C4G, let's dominate. Let's make sure that all of our stories keep getting in. And guess what? We'll keep having some winners, right? 
So make sure you take advantage of that. Go there, tlccontest.com, and definitely vote, all right? And if you want to know where the next uh, stop is as far as uh, where the tour is going, you can go to yourfieldtour.com, not to mention the access that you get with all the information once you log into the back office, all right? So those are a few uh, housekeeping things that I definitely wanted to take the time to mention. Anything else comes back to me during this call, I'll mention it at the end. But tonight, we wanted to, a um, couple things that we want to talk about tonight as far as, um, you know, really just helping you guys to move forward. Definitely um, allowing some time for, for you to uh, ask any questions that you might have at the end. Uh, but many times, I think that people join businesses like this uh, in our industry, right? And... Um, and they, and, and they really think that this is going to be a get-rich-quick scheme, all right? Or like, you're gonna, it's going to happen overnight. And I want you to write down the word process, okay? Because this is a real business with some real results, but you have to know that it is all about the person that you have to become in order to create success in this business, in this industry. You see, team, you have to allow this to go from your head to your heart, before you start to see the results that you really want to see. And so how does it become, you know, something that goes from your head to your heart? How does it become something in which you wake up every day and you're super excited about the fact that you said yes? You're super excited about the fact that you, you know, have some products that make you feel great. You're excited about helping to change the lives of others. Where does that passion come in? You see, once you fall in love with these products and you now have your own personal experience with the products, whether it's weight loss, whether, you know, the, the, the Nutriverse does something for you, the NRG, you know, whether um, the immune oil helped to change, whatever it is, now you're, you, that passion is now going to line up with the fact that you're super excited about your yes. And so now it begins to go from your head to your heart. And there's so many people that we can tell that you know, it's gone from their head to their heart because they move differently, they act differently, they show up differently, they're hungry. That hunger has to come out you know, in order for you to get fed. So you gotta get hungry about the very things that you want. And now what's gonna happen is you'll start to get the results that you desire to have um, you know, from, from TLC and from really just winning to be able to um, change your life. And so there's three types of people that I'm going to talk to, and then I definitely want to bring Nate on because we talked on the grind this morning about something that was very powerful. And, you know, when he mentioned it, because we never script any of the things that we do on there, when he mentioned it this morning, that really hit home for me. And I think that we can definitely bring that in to what we do here in TLC to really um, understand how you want to go about really building this business and why you don't want to overthink this thing, but just run for real. So there's three types of people that um, you know, are in our industry, right? That say yes to a network marketing opportunity. And I want you to figure out what category do you fall into. And some of you may be very new, right? Um, and, and, and you just want to make sure that you're able to look at these different categories and figure out which one you want to be a part of and make sure you're not a part of the category that you shouldn't be in, right? And so the first one is a poser, okay? Are you a poser? Are you an amateur or are you a professional, okay? Are you a poser, are you an amateur, or are you a professional, all right? Because many times, this may be new to you, but our goal is for each and every one of us to get good at what we're doing and to become that network marketing professional. How are we going to become that network marketing professional? It means that there's certain things that we have to do every day in order to make sure that we're growing every day, right? I say that all the time, every day. What are the things, the five things that you need to do every day in order to move your business forward, in order to achieve your goals? So now, what's a poser, all right? A poser is someone who literally joins a business like ours and they treat it like a, they have that lottery ticket mentality. So basically, they said yes, right? And, and they feel like, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to have that overnight success. And they feel like, you know what, I'm just going to sit back and wait to win the lottery. And usually it's that person that, you know, they end up not getting in. They get, they get in, they do absolutely nothing and really never move themselves forward. 
and they end up quitting. They usually end up quitting when they don't get the success and they go out and they get those no's from their list, their initial list in which we tell you guys, that's just practice. That's all it is. It's just practice. That list is to prepare you for all of the negativity that you are about to come across as you get started in this industry. Because guess what, team? The no's are part of the process. Write this down. Behind those no's, there are some yeses. And the people that you know that are going to help you get to the next level, you don't even know them yet, right? So therefore, what happens is those poses are the ones that allow those no's to affect them. And I can tell you that Nate and I, we, we've been there, okay? We were once poses when we first got started in this, in this industry, for real. We would get into an opportunity and we would feel like, okay, this thing needs to happen like right now. And we would reach out to our friends and our family and we would look up and they would all tell us no, but before we get home, we were like, surely they, everybody got to have gas service. Let's call up and all our brothers, our sisters, let's get them to switch their gas service over. And they still wouldn't do it, even though it was, they had to have gas in their house, you know? And so we would allow them to, you know, the, the people that we would connect with, um, you know, and reach out to, to cause us to quit. So the poser is that person that has that lottery ticket mentality, like it's just going to happen without doing any activity. And then they end up quitting. They blame either the people that they reached out to. They blame their upline. They blame everybody but themselves. Okay. So that's the poser. And I pray and I know and I believe on our call, C4G, we don't have anybody like that. Right. So we can kind of cross off the poses. Right. So the next one is the amateur. So now who is the amateur? All right. So the amateur is somebody who just gets started in a business, right? And they come into this business with the mentality that, you know what, I um, said yes, and I want to, you know, be able to get in and get started and to build a business. But they also are that person that kind of feels like, they can kind of sit back and that the people are going to kind of come to them. They may put some posts up on, on social media and feel like the posts are, are going to do, you know, all the work for them. Um, but the amateur kind of plugs in, you know, to certain things a little bit. Like the amateur is that person that may realize that there's a, a team call, but they pick and choose the calls that they want to get on to, right? The amateur is the one that is kind of plugged in. They got one foot in and they got one foot out. They got their little pinky toe in, but they don't have their whole body in. The amateur is that person that kind of joins the team, but hasn't yet made a decision to get in the game, all right? And so the amateur is somebody who they want to create success, but they're not quite moving. So their actions kind of don't line up with the, with the, um, with the dream or with the goal, kind of how when, when we talk about you can't have the, the uphill dreams and the downhill work ethic, right? So if you got uphill dreams, this work ethic has to line up with your dreams in order for that dream to become your reality. And then you move over into, into the professional, all right? So now what is a network marketing professional? Well, team, a network marketing professional is somebody who now is going to be that person who realizes that growth is everything. A network marketing professional is that person who is going to treat this like a profession. You're gonna get in, but you're not gonna overthink it, okay? And we're gonna talk about that a little bit too. You're not gonna overthink it, but that network marketing professional is somebody who grows, is somebody who makes a decision to work on them because they realize that they have to become the person that they're looking for. So they get up every day and they keep building the business, but they're, they're learning different things. They're logging into their back offices and understanding that there's a resource section. They're printing out the compensation plan and they're looking at the compensation plan and they're understanding, you know, the five ways that we get paid so that they learn how to not leave any money on the table. The network marketing professional is that person that literally begins to master the profession. So you start to learn a little bit about the products. You get on the calls, you listen to the calls, and you begin to take notes. You're taking notes on a team call. You're plugged in. You're attending um, the events that happen. You're, you're, uh, you're jumping on you know, the lives that take place. You are literally engulfing yourself into what you've said yes to in order to become that professional because now you understand that it's not about you. It's about the lives that you're going to end up being connected to 
So therefore, you have to grow. You have to become that person in which now people want to attach themselves to in order um, for them to allow themselves to get to whatever position they want to get to in life. So some of the skills that you have to learn in this industry, all right, number one is you have to learn how to find prospects, okay? Because if we don't keep that, if, the, if we don't keep our um, pipeline full, if we don't have anybody to prospect our, our products to, and even our opportunity to, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna find ourselves in a position to where we're not moving forward. We're going to begin to lose hope, right? So, so you gotta learn how to find the prospects, you got to learn how to invite the prospects to either hear about the products, how to, um, how to uh, hear about the opportunity. So you got to learn how to find prospects. You have to learn how to invite prospects. You also have to learn how to present the opportunity and the products to the people that you now are talking to. Are you going to have a home party? Are you going to do a Zoom? Are you going to do some Facebook Lives? Are you going to sit down? and do a one-on-one -on -one presentation? Are you gonna leverage the, the calls that take place in which you're now networking and you're putting them in front of the information? Are you going to use a video? But either way, you have to figure out and you have to learn how to present the information. Another skill that you have to have in this industry in order to be successful is you have to follow up, okay? Your fortune is in the follow-up. And that may sound cliche, but it is. So you have to have an on-point follow-up system in order to be able to follow up with all the people that you are now putting in the pipeline, okay? And that means your customers, and, and that's another thing that I, another topic that we need to talk about one day is, um, you know, the customer base and how to even take that to the next level because many of you guys may not even realize, some of you are saying, well, you know what? I'm not buying every qualified. I haven't recruited my two people or I recruited my two people and they quit. And so I'm still looking for some more people. But what you don't understand that many of you are incredible retailers, your top retailers, you're selling these products and you don't even realize that your greatest asset is your customer. Your greatest prospect is right there in your customer base. And when you learn how to follow up, when you learn how to create that relationship, when you learn how to now build upon the fact that that person said yes to these products and now build a, 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 a strong rapport, you would be surprised how many, if you get good at, good at this thing, how many of those customers you can now turn into a repeat customer, a smart ship, or even a potential business partner. So a lot of you got some goals sitting in your customers, but you just aren't taking the time, or maybe you don't even know what to do in order to follow up. All right, and that's where, where you gotta, your fortune is, every, is everything in your follow-up, okay? And another, another skill that that kind of leads into, sorry y'all, I'm pushing through. Another skill that that kind of leads into is, is what I was just talked about. You get, gotta be good at helping them to now transition from where they are, from being that one time buying a pack of tea to being that now I'm going to buy a whole month supply to being that now let me go ahead and get me a whole 30, 33 kit to now being that, oh, let me refer you some people, to now being that, wait a minute, hold on, let me not refer, but what you said that I can actually make some money doing this, so it's a process, all right? And then another skill that you gotta get good at as a professional, okay, in this industry is you want to make sure that once you bring somebody into this business team, it's very important that you get people plugged in, very important. It's very important that you now give them a system in order for them to get started right, in order for them to know what to do next, in order for them to now begin to move forward. Because remember, you got about 24 to 48 hours to help a person fly, okay? There's certain things that they need to do, certain things that they want to be plugged into, getting them into whatever the system is as far as, you know, making sure that they have the information necessary to start their list, to find out, okay, is this somebody who, who can do a home party, who's even open to a home party, who can create a list, you know, what, you know, who are they? And so now you begin to build those relationships with people in order to get them plugged in, to get them going, because now you're getting them going, you got to build upon that, that momentum of, of something new. They just said yes to something new, all right? So are you a poser? Are you an amateur? Or are you a professional? And we all want to move ourselves into that professional, that professional status. 
And so, you know, I had some questions too. And then I'm gonna write, and then I want you guys, I want you to ask yourself, okay, right quick. Just seven questions that's really gonna help you to identify which category are you, okay? All right, so the first question is this. I present my opportunity. Do you present A, less than once a month, B, once per month, C, a couple times a month, or D, multiple times a month, all right? Ask yourself, all right? Are you presenting this opportunity less than once a month, once per month, a couple times a month, or multiple times per month, all right? Number two. I work on my mindset and consume personal development how often? A, not at all, B, monthly, C, weekly, or D, daily, all right? A, not at all, B, monthly, C, weekly, D, daily, all right? Which one, all right? Number three, which best describes your current recruiting success, all right? So think about whether it's customers, um, business partners, which, which describes your current success. A, I have not signed anyone up yet. B, I sign up people every once in a while. Or C, I sign up at least two new people every month. All right, C, that's the third one. A, I haven't signed anyone up, right? No one has been to my website. B, I sign people up every once in a while. Somebody's, you know, every now and again, becoming my customer or business partner. And C, I sign up at least one new or, or two new people every month, all right? Number four, when it comes to team calls and events, A, I show up to everything, period, all right? I show up to everything, point blank, period. B, I do my best because life happens. Or C, I attend when convenient. So which one for you? I show up to everything, period. B, I do my best because life happens. Or C, I attend when convenient. Now, number five, I believe my success depends on A, getting in early and finding the right people to work. All right? B, my upline, my downline, my company, and me, or C, me. All right, so that question is, I believe my success depends on which one? A, getting in early and finding the right people, right, that time and positioning. B, my upline, my downline, my company, and me. Or C, me. Which one y'all think that is? Number six, two more questions. At the end of a of a of a one-on-one -on -one or an event, all right, whether it's a tea party, you sit down with somebody, how are you feeling? Okay, number one, A, do you avoid doing the clothes? Are you good at closing that one-on-one? -on -one? All right, do you avoid? Do you just tell them about the products, tell them about the opportunity and say, okay, wonderful, and you, you don't even talk about getting started, all right? Or B, do you invite them to sign up, but it, it feels kind of awkward if you're inviting them to, to become a customer or to join you in business? Or C, you look forward to helping people say yes. You look forward to helping people get started and to taking some action. So which category do you fall into? All right, so these are questions that you wanna ask yourself, okay, in order to identify, are you that amateur? Because we know there's no poses on this call tonight. Are you an amateur? or a professional. And then number seven, because remember, leaders create other leaders. That's our goal, team. We do not want to create a whole bunch of followers. We don't want to, <laughs> we, that's not why we're here. Our goal is to help you become the best leader in this industry, the best leader in TLC, to where, you know what, we can sit back and be thankful that, you know what, you said yes, and we're a part of your story for real. And we want you to fly. We want you to be able to create. We want you to be able to go out and to do whatever God is telling you to do or leveraging TLC products, right? So leaders create other leaders. So as a leader, I, A, successfully build up other leaders. B, have to do a lot of hand-holding and, um, and, and uh, hand-holding to keep my people motivated and moving. Are you that, per are you that leader? Are you, are you having to do a whole lot of hand-holding? Are you having to keep people motivated and moving, you know? Or are you having to 
you know, constantly pick up the phone and call people and you want it more than they want it for themselves, right? I, I remember, I remember those days. And Nate and I remember those days. He wasn't doing a hand holding, he wasn't doing a call, but he was sitting back looking at me like, why? They obviously don't want it, so why is you calling them? All right. Or C, you don't worry about your people. You say they good, they good on their own. All right. <laughs> so these are some questions to ask yourself, right? And just know that the amateur, but let me just tell you the professional answers, the ones that you want to lead yourself to, all right? Because anything less than that puts you into amateur or opposing mode. It's, it's real, real simple because you know if you say that I present my opportunity less than once a month, once per month, you're a poser, okay, for real. You're in a couple times a month, um, you know, it's really amateur mode when you're a couple times a month. But when you're that professional, you're presenting multiple times a week. And it doesn't matter how. You see, sometimes you think that you got to have all these tea parties lined up. No, you don't. You can be presenting multiple times a week by jumping on a Facebook Live. Hey, guys, let me tell you about this little pack of tea. You know, lose five pounds in five days. Have you heard about it? Oh, my goodness. I lost 20 pounds in 31 days. Boom, boom, boom. You just present it. Hi. You know what? Now you go on Instagram. Now you might have a tea party. Now you might invite to a, 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 to a call that's happening. You're presenting the information. Multiply. Multiply and do it several times a week. That's what professionals do. Now, for the second one, I work on my mindset and consume personal development. It's not an option, team. Every day. Every day. You need to be doing at least 30 minutes a day working on you because it's all about the person that you have to become in this industry to now attract the people that you're looking for. If you, if you don't present yourself beautiful, then guess what? You're not going to attract beautiful. So you got to learn. You got to grow. You got to become. You got to speak those affirmations. You got to do. You got to read the books. You got to now really buy into this dream that's absolutely yours so that now others will buy into it also. Now, which best describes your current recruiting success? Obviously, C. Okay, you need to be, you should be signed up at least two people every 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 month. And here at TLC, we kill these numbers. I don't know what company this 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 question is based on because here in Total Life Changes, if you guys haven't realized, we're above we're like above the grid on all this stuff, right? The average person, you know, in this industry recruits less than two people for real. But here in TLC. The numbers are increased because of the opportunity and even with the, with the customers and everything um, because of what we have, the simplicity of what we have and the fact that our products work. And then number four, um, I show up to everything, point blank, period. Okay, I show up to everything, point blank, period. That was the mindset. Nate and I, literally, but for, for the 20 years of, we, of, of us failing, we couldn't always go together, but I never, never miss an event that I qualified for. Now, as leaders, we don't attend every event, but I can tell you, we're always working and, 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 and we're always doing, we're always building. But I can tell you, when we were trying to become the person that we need to become, I would go to those events. I struggled to get to those events. We literally would make sure that one of us was there in that atmosphere, which was typically me, and did what I had to do. If I had to sleep six deep in a room with some women, I did it. You know, and I always, always showed up at, 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 at trainings, on the calls, all of it, until we now, you know, are on a different level. All right? So know that. It's, I showed up to everything. Convenience is not going to get you the success that you want to get. All right? Now, it's not saying you got to be all over the place because if you start to eat off of a whole bunch of plates, you find some people, you find your, your champion, and hey, plug in, whatever. But I can tell you, you start to eat off oh, a whole bunch of plates, you're going to find yourself confused. So you got to make sure that you show up point blank, period. I believe my success depends on what y'all answer for five, right? Did anybody say my upline, my downline, my company, and me, which was B, because that was kind of confusing, right? Really and truly, your success is not dependent upon your upline. It's not dependent upon your downline. It's not dependent upon your company. It is only dependent upon me. The professional realizes that. The professional realizes that if it's to be, it's up to me, all right? And so it's not dependent upon who you're connected to. It really don't matter who you join. It doesn't, okay? Because we have, we have, we have literally, you know, been able to hear from people that say, well, my, 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 my you know, my, my upline didn't do this, my, my upline didn't do that. My upline didn't. And it doesn't matter. It does not matter because guess what? You, your success is dependent upon you. So what you want to do? That's really what it boils down to. 
And then at the end of a one-on-one -on -one event, you should always see, look forward to helping people take action and sign up. How are you gonna get good at it? It's gonna feel funny at first, all right? You may even not even know what to say, right? You may be afraid to close the deal. I know I was for a very long time, but I got good you know, other leaders in order to now close the deal. So if I needed to do a three-way call, if I need to put another voice on it, you know, people call us all the time to close out their tea parties just for us to say hello to the room and to speak to the people and things like that. And we help them close the deal. So leverage is very, very um, powerful. And as a leader, I successfully build up other leaders. A. All right. So if you answer those, you are a network marketing professional. All right. You're on your way. Nobody's perfect, but we're growing every single day. All right. So, you know, that's what I've had on my heart tonight that I wanted to share. And I truly believe that the next piece that Nate is going to add to this call is really going to put the icing on the cake tonight because, you know, uh, we, we talked about um, five today. If you guys missed the grind, we're not going to go over that, but five habits that you need to eliminate life for real in order to create success. Why are people not as successful as they want to be? We talked about it on the grind. Y'all can go and listen to that later. But one key point that Nate brought up today, and I um, want him to definitely come on and just drop all the nuggets on this, which is very powerful. Many times we feel like we got to know everything. We feel like everything's got to be perfect before we move. But one thing that he mentioned today you know how we, many times we, we think it's supposed to be ready, aim, fire, right? We've all heard that. Get ready, aim, fire. But he said something strong today. Ready, fire, and then aim. And I thought that was so profound because I never heard that. And I'm married to the man, okay? <laughs> all right? Ready, fire, and then aim. And so, Nate, Come on here tonight, my incredible business partner. I thank God for you every single day. You know, together we get it done and, 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 and living our dream, being able to build an incredible business together with an amazing team. And so jump on here tonight and just share with everybody those nuggets and what you want to, you know, let us know about ready, fire, and aim. Awesome. awesome. Can you hear me okay? I hear you loud and clear. Good, good. I put my headphones on so I didn't know if you could hear me better. Um, so, so man, I want to say, first of all, great training. Um, that was that was just absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys really understood what you just got, but you just basically got the technical aspect of what this is. You just got the, the what me and Pam we discussed the other day is the three percent. This isn't even ninety five percent passion and heart and and three percent and five percent skill, guys. This is ninety seven three right? This is, this is, this is mindset. 97% of the time and 3% is the skill. You just got that 3% right there. Look no further, nowhere else. If you took great notes, I promise you, you have everything you need to build an amazing business if you never hear anybody else talk about it, okay? So I believe is what Pam said earlier is that we, people tend to complicate things, they can overcomplicate things. They don't just make it complicated. They overcomplicate it, right? It's complicated enough that you come in. <laughs> you know, I see Lana's raising her hand. You know, it's complicated. You're not the only one, Lana. Don't worry. Um, it's, it's complicated enough for you to come in here and think that, okay, I don't know this industry, so now I got to come up to speed. You know, and the great thing about what Pam just told you guys is she gave you the, the training of a lifetime all in one, one little 30-minute sitting. Um, this industry was created and i said this a thousand times to be simple if you overcomplicate it then it's going to be harder for you right it's just going to be hard your process is hard enough right you got to go through your process some of you, you if you're going through something you're going through that process and then on top of it you overcomplicate this so you feel like now you're rocking a hard spot you have no way out so so now you're really in trouble but when I hear what Pam just gave you guys, and, and I took notes on it as well, because, you know, I, as she said, I, I live with the woman every day, but she said some, some things that, that, that really piqued my interest as well. And to be able to give out that training in 30 minutes, guys, is just amazing. And, and that's not even us. Pam and I, we rarely, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, we rarely sit down and prepare for stuff. Why? Not because we don't care. 
but because it's already in here. So we just let it out. So you got to understand that it's not what we formally learned. It's a process over the course of 20 years. And we're trying to kind of like compress that and give you guys everything that you need in the simplest way that we know how. Because simplicity breeds the duplication. I've said that time and time again. So what you just got tonight was professional training. There's nowhere else, there's nothing else to do. There's nowhere, nowhere else to, there's no, there's no more profound questions to ask no, anybody else. You just got it. If you can't follow those simple nuggets and parameters that she gave you, then you're going to have a hard, hard time here um, in this industry. So I hope you guys wrote that down. Um, if you didn't, call somebody and get the notes from them because that is basically the blueprint. But, you know, we talked about something on the grind this morning. And here's the thing, guys, real talk. If you guys haven't, haven't realized how Pam and I are by now, even if you just joined this team and you've been here a day or two, you guys are premeditated. You, you, you research us before you join us. So you know who we are already. You know how we are. But if you haven't figured out that we're doing what we do, I mean, yeah, we want to make money. Let's not get that twisted, okay? We're not the people that's telling you we don't want to make no money. We got all we need. We're good. All right, we just shoot 100 with you guys. We're going, we want to make money, but really and truly, our real heart is to see other people make money. Our real heart is to duplicate. And we know that simplicity breeds duplication. So you guys already know what our heart is. So it's easy to peg us. There's no guesswork with us. Everything that we do, we're going to do it. We're, we're doing it for our team. So when we look at shows, we put on like the grind. The grind, the grind, we say we're the first partakers in the grind because, man, y'all don't know it, but the grind helps Pam and I just as much, if not more, and it helps you guys because we get to come on and talk through our issues that we have, but we get to do that and, 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 and let you guys in the room and share that as well. So you guys should be jumping on the grind because the, the, if Pam just gave you professional training, the grind is mindset training. So you need to be on the grind. You need to be listening to those episodes because, man, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm just going to be a little biased, man. We give out some good stuff on that show. That's just bottom line. I mean, for those of you that jump on, I'm just telling you, I'm going to toot my own horn, toot Pam's horn. Guys, God gives us some great stuff. And some of it we don't get until we unmute that microphone, which is the best stuff. So we have, a, we have a great time doing that show. So guys, if you can jump on that show, you know, it's for us, man, we talk about the ratings and things of that nature because, you know, we want, we want more people to jump on and take advantage of what we have to offer because we don't shortchange ourselves. We have great self-esteem, self-confidence, you know, self-concept, self-image. We have great, all of that stuff is, there's no lack for that for us because we gave out those five bad habits, those five habits that you got to break and low self-esteem and self-image is one of them, right? Lack of commitment, you know, uh, uh, always uh, playing to lose. And, and, and what was the other one, Pam? Um, 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 you, I, I think I missed a couple. Playing to lose, uh, lack of commitment, and um, there was one more, I think. But nonetheless, um, we... we uh, what was the first one? I, uh, I, I can't remember. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, guys, check that episode out. You can go to blogtalkradio.com slash the ground one on one and look at all those episodes. There's like 180 some odd episodes on there. And this is you guys have to understand this is just the groundwork for Pam and I. Uh, the show has been in existence for, you know, going on two years now. But this is just the groundwork for us because we'll get ready to spawn off and start doing some other things. And you guys have the opportunity to be first partakers in that, you know, and we're getting ready to put it. Dreaming too small. That's what it was. Dreaming too small, exactly. So those five habits you need to break. So check those out. Um, but but everything we do, guys, is 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 for the betterment of the team first and foremost. But there's gonna be, there's gonna come a time, guys. You know that Pam and I aren't going to be as accessible as we are right now, right? We want to always try to be accessible, but our 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 whole platform is getting ready to spin off into something uh, even more complex, even even bigger because we've been building it that way. Over the course of almost five years now, we've been building. There are books out that say, uh, how to become a millionaire, seven years to, to seven figures. You know, People have all of these clever cliches that they put on how long it takes you to make X amount of dollars, six weeks, six months to six figures. All of those are just titles to books and things of that nature. 
And should you confine yourself and govern yourself to just that? No, you have to be a creator. You got to think outside the box because quite simply, there is no box, right? So be the creator, think bigger than what you're thinking. And this is how you do it, okay? There's, there's a couple of concepts that I want to give you guys. And Pam said one of them, it's, it's ready, uh, uh, fire, aim. And this is what rich people, successful people do, right? And we can throw that word around. You don't get, don't get emotional when people talk about rich people or poor people because that's just the dynamic of what we do, what, what life is, right? Rich people don't aim. They fire. And they make adjustments as they go. And I think as, as, as people that are trying to move from level to level, if you think like the level you are trying to aspire to, then you find yourself getting there before everybody else gets there. And I believe people ask Pam and I, well, why is it that you guys stay on edge? Because we, because we think ahead of everybody else. We're already six months down the road. It may be mid 2019. We're in first quarter 2020. And we're not just thinking about it. We're actually putting things in place for 2020 right now. Pam mentioned how this industry goes up and down with each year. It's no secret. We come up on, on towards the, the, the fourth quarter, guys, and people are going to get tighter with money. I love Eric Ward because he says the truth is enough. I'm giving you, we're giving you guys the truth. We're not telling you guys that this thing is going to be tapping on all cylinders for 12 months straight. It's not. You got to be like the ant. You got to store up some food for the winter. And you do that right now. So everything Pam gave you guys was true, but here's how you, here's how you ready fire your aim and understand that the ready is the sign up. If you guys merely, if you came in and you signed up, you're ready, right? Let me, let me change it. If you partnered, you are ready. Because if you just signed up, you just, you just don't want to get left behind. You're not, you don't see the vision. You're not trying to help carry the vision. But if you partnered, you're help carrying the vision. You don't want to be left in the back. You want to know, Coach Nate, Coach Pan, what is, what's your vision for C4G? Where do you see me at? Where do I fit in? What can I do? to help carry the vision. I don't want to just grab onto the back caboose on the pole and hold on. I want to come to the front where the engine is and I want to help put some coal in that thing, put some wood in there. I want to help the fire burn. I want to feel the heat. That's what partnership is. Right now, guys, we're looking for partners. So those of you out there, you're making up in your mind, you know what, I want to partner with C4G because I understand that C4G is a spoke in the wheel called, create, called Total Life Changes. So I want to be a part of this spoke and the spoke that makes TLC get to achieve its goals because we're a part of that vision that's much larger than our vision. That's what keeps us going is to make TLC the best company ever. The better TLC gets, the more money we get. But guess what? You don't get that heat unless you're helping shovel coal into the engine. If you're hanging on the back, all you're doing is hanging around and waiting for the ride to be over, right? So your partnership is the ready, right? So your aim is the, is the, the exposure, the action aspect of what you do, right? If you're taking action, you partnered up now, you're, you're exposing these products, you're exposing you know, yourself, you're, you're popping, you're a product of the product. You're actually taking these products and transforming yourself. You're following all of the rules and the guidelines that Coach Pam just gave, and you're striving to become a network marketing professional. Notice what I just said. You're striving to become a network marketing professional. You're not there yet because you remember, you got a fire now. You're not waiting to become the professional before you pull the trigger. You already pulled the trigger. You're up by the engine compartment now. You're shoveling coal. Me and Coach Pam are looking like, hey, I see, okay, I see. I see you, you, you're putting coal in this engine too. You get the vision too. You're not just hanging back, allowing fear to grab you, but you're actually up beside us saying, you know what? I want to be in the fire with you. Let's get this thing. Let's move. We got to strike while the iron is hot. So you're, 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 now, you're, now you're firing. Now once you fire, that's when you aim.
that's when you make your adjustments. In this industry, we say you learn and earn. That's what you do. You don't, you don't get ready and then, then start learning, earning, then fire. You, you get ready, you fire, and you learn as you go. That's how this thing works. Some of you are saying, why am, is my business not moving? It's because you're frozen. You're confused because you're thinking that it's more to it than it is. And it is not. It is just you taking these products and, and, and exposing them to the world. That's it. Once you start doing that, watch what happens. You start taking the products. Watch what happens. You, you compress your time frame by doing more than everybody else is doing. Pam just told you it's a game of, it's, it's a game of exposure. Who can expose the most? If you're sitting back because maybe you don't, maybe you got all the product you need. Maybe you don't. If you don't, then it's a game of create demand. Create the demand for the product. How do you do that? Me and Pam sell tea that we don't have all the time. Every single day we sell product that we don't have. You think we sit around with cases of tea here that we just give to people? Pam and I, we don't, Pam will tell you we suck at retail. You probably never see Pam and I on the retail. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. We suck at selling products to people, but we're great at sampling the products to people. We'll give products away because we understand the concept of get these products in a person's veins and they're gonna love them enough to come back for more. And now you gotta buy them. Now you gotta go to my website. Oh, we're gonna get some retail money because you're gonna go to the website. We will not be great at hand to hand. Pam and I are both a little self-conscious about asking people for money. I just, now you know a little bit of our weakness. We won't, we work kind of hard to do that. Asking people, oh, give me some money for this. We're not good at that. Some of you are great at it. You got to see, give me that $20. Go for it. Keep doing it. But Pam and I, we're more apt to give away a pack of tea. But have we always been that way? No. When we needed that money, give me that $20, man. I need to pay this light bill. <laughs> I need that money right now. But now that we're not in that, that space anymore, we can pay our bills. Now we, we, we don't want for it like that. Now we can give away more. But that didn't just start happening. That happened when we got the ends, made the ends meet, when we got the monkey off of our back, that's when we started to sow into our business. We only took what we needed. We only took what it took to pay the bills and maybe every now and then to take the kids out to eat. And we only took enough to do that because we understood sacrifice. And even today, we still understand sacrifice. Rich people get rich and stay rich because they don't spend all their money. They invest their money. And we understand that we got to invest money in TLC and we got to invest money in other things. And our biggest investment, guys, is you. It's our biggest investment. Every time you guys, one of you join our team, it is our responsibility to show you the right way, to show you the simplest way. Because if we do backflips and jump and do herkies and, and cartwheels, everybody can't do that. Some people have bad knees and bad backs. Everybody can't do that. And they're going to be like, I, I just, I can't do what she did. I, there's no way. I see she came over and she told me what was in every product. You know, he told me, you know, what everything, the name of everything. I mean, I got that. I stood there for 30 minutes and they gave me all the information. I can't do that. But if you just lead with passion, you lead with the products, you know our core values, you follow them, watch what happens. Stop overthinking it. Now I'm going to give you the second thing and then I'm going to shut up, okay? The second thing is manage your emotions. Write that down, circle it, hashtag it, whatever you want to do, guys. I don't put it on the mirror. It doesn't matter. You need to see that every day manage your emotions. Stop getting so emotional about every little thing that you see happening in this industry. People come, people go. People come back. People talk about people. People get mad at people. People have perceptions of this and perceptions of that. People will do anything that they can just to basically get attention. Guys, if you're that person, if you can't manage your emotions, then I can promise you that you're going to be stuck for a long time. You got to put the blinders on. 
and you got to go for what you need. You got to shut everything out, guys. You, there's a reason why this industry, people say, this industry is for everybody, Yale or jail. Doesn't matter what your background is. Everybody can come over here and win. There's a big melting pot of people. It's not like corporate America. You go to your job, if you're, if you're a nurse, you deal with other nurses. If you're an engineer, you deal with other engineers. If you're, if you're at McDonald's cooking fries, you deal with other people cooking fries. That's what you do, it's a skill set. But here, you got a melting pot of people. So if you got a melting pot of people, you got a melting pot of mentality, you got a melting pot of emotions, you got a melting pot of drama. You can't buy into that. You cannot attach yourself to that. That's why Pam and I only look at positivity. Always two sides to every story. There's the, your side, the other side, and then there's the truth. And we only worry about the truth of what we are and who we are and what we're going for, and that's it. Learn to manage your emotions, guys. And if you do that, you'll be on your way to being successful in this industry because now you understand that, man, the simplicity of this is all about my mindset. What I put here, how I, how I process it, and how I apply the skills that Coach Pam just gave you guys in a quick 30-minute setting. There is no more. Point blank. God bless you guys. Pam, back over to you, baby. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, that, just top, that just put all the icing on the cake, all right? Ready, fire, A, manage your emotions. And when we realize that all of this is a part of becoming a network marketing professional, and not allowing ourselves to get analysis paralysis, but for us to continue to grow, but to move, move while we're growing, take action while we're growing, and it's time to get this thing done. Um, you know, the, this is the season in which there's so many people out there looking for us, but remember, they're not going to find you if your mouth is closed. So closed mouths, don't get fed. Go out, become that network marketing professional. As I was listening to you talk, Nate, um, you know, giving us that, that a phenomenal information, um, that I tell you, it just blew me away. Like for real, I never looked at look at things like that, and even how the rich are distinguished from that the poor mentality. Um, with the ready, the fire, and then the aim. Take the time to adjust things. You know, I thought about this one book that changed our life. You guys can go out and, and pick it up. It's a quick, quick, nice little read. Right? Remember this one? Um, mm -hmm. Like for ten bucks, you can get it on Amazon or whatever. The the top ten distinct distinctions between millionaires in the middle class. I mean, it's got some powerful um, nuggets in it um, that I really uh, truly believe, you know, um, will bless each and every one of you. It's a quick little read that you can add to your personal development library, all right, by Keith Cameron Smith. He's got some great books and this is one of them. So okay, let me say, Pam, let me say this again, let me say this really quick because I want everybody to understand where we are and, you know, how you really apply the information that you hear and it really is about speed of implementation. That's really what Ready, Fire, Aim is all about, speed of implementation. Um, a lot of people can't implement because they get caught up in the white noise. There's a lot in this industry because there's so much opportunity and there's so much in it for everybody. There's a lot of noise, as we call it in the military, there's a lot of squelch. If there's a lot of static. If, if, you, don't, if you don't learn to focus, then that squelch and that status, that white noise is gonna grab you every time. Um, one of the things that Pam and I said a long time ago, and I think it was the traction point for us over here at TLC is that, you know, in social media, we manage, we manage our social media that way. Um, we, don't, we don't buy into social media on that level. We use social media to strictly build our business uh, and to get our message out. Um, if you guys notice, if you really look at us, we don't, there's not a lot of things that we, that we comment on and that we, and that we follow and buy into. Um, we focus on what we know works for us. And the old analogy is if it's not broke, don't fix it. But we can always enhance it. And that's the things that we create. So, and if you think about the concept of ready, fire, aim, and everything that, that's destructive and everything that, that has the power to, to, to really, really affect change on a mass level um, is guided, but it's guided after it's fired. 
you take, and I was telling, I was saying this on a show this morning, you can take the, the missile that, you know, I had the opportunity to fire while I was in the military. It had a microscopic wire on it. When it came out, the missile was all over the place and you have to grab that missile. And literally once you, once you put your hands on the guidance system and you, you start driving it like a car, wherever you want it to go, that didn't happen until after it was fired. Mm. So it's the same thing here. If you wait so long to fire, other people are firing. Mm. And if you're the last person to fire, then you're, but you're the first person to get hit. If you're the last person to fire, you're the first person to lose. If you're the last person to fire, you're the first person to be broke. So you got to get in a habit of seeing it and, and, and really quick, making a decision and go. Rich people, successful people see things, they implement it right away, and they're, they're not afraid to fail. You're going to fail. If it's not a guided wire that's on something, guys, it's Bluetooth, it's whatever it is, something's guiding it. It's a connection, then it happens after the fact, okay? So guys, if we get this mentality, man, I mean, honestly, um, we, we say in this industry that it's a simple system because it is, it's a simple system. And, but by no means is it easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Absolutely. The, the advantage <laughs> that you guys have over everybody is that you believe that you can. And the mere fact that you believe that you can is going to dispel everything that everybody else is saying because they can. Amen. Most people that most people that 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 say negative things about this industry either didn't apply themselves or never tried. So you can't listen to that white noise. You have to block it out. And I believe that's in large portion why Pam and I have been so successful because we you you if you see Pam and I attached to drama on social media, then something's wrong. All right, it's just something flat out wrong. We've lost it. We never do. We just we stay positive. Our message is always positive, and it's the law of attraction that we believe in. What you put out, you get in. Absolutely. No, that's good. That's good. Three percenters, right? All right, team. I don't know if anybody has any questions. Any of y'all have any questions about anything, about um, anything that you're experiencing in the fields? Um, you know, definitely now is the time for you to, to either put it in the chat or unmute yourselves because you all have the opportunity to unmute yourself. We'll give it, we'll, we'll give you a few seconds to see if anybody has anything. If not, we are done with another um, phenomenal team call. Remember, tonight is closeout, okay? So you should be logging in. You have until 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to create you a chat or to make sure, and to make sure that you are number one active, all right? Log in, make sure you're active, make sure your smart shift happened, make sure if you had your binary, make sure you're still binary qualified so your volume doesn't flush. Any volume building down below, you know that that's why you want to get your two people because as volume builds every week, it flushes if you don't have that person on your left and that person on the right. But if you have that person on your left and that person on your right, it's now going to build every week on that one side um, as you're now starting to grow your business and grow your team. All right. So always, you should be logging in. Network marketing professionals, let me also say, network marketing professionals log into their back office every day. Every day, you should be looking. I don't care if you're seeing zeros. You should be looking in there every day um, as you build this thing, grow this thing, click around, learn it, you log in every day, all right? So you know what your business is looking up. Anyone having any tea parties happening? That's a wonderful question, Jamise. Any tea parties on the rise? Hello? Anybody out there know that? Remember, the speed of implementation, you guys have the power to create, all right? And you have the power to create, get creative. We did a phenomenal last minute, like literally last minute um, with, with Sabrina and Gwen last weekend, uh, a sip and slay spa day. And I tell you, it turned out to be absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, and we just got creative. We had a, a massage uh, um, person come to us. Sabrina is a massage therapist and she bought in another one of her business partners. We had some fun. We had the products, we talked, it was very informal and it was different. And so imagine, you know, getting creative, doing different things like that and just going for it. Um, you know, just knowing that this is your opportunity to create, finding the events out there. 
uh, doing the parties, coming together with one another, building that momentum. And there's some people out there getting it done. There's some people that are committed. I know Atlanta, they always on, on point. Cindy up there, she's always got something going on. I saw her doing something. I think they went over to Alabama. I know right now we have this new team, Montgomery, Alabama, probably not on here right now. Um, new uh, a gentleman on our team, Lambert, who I, he's on his fourth party. He's been in the business maybe about a week. So he did, did a party last night, did a party tonight, got another party tomorrow night. So people are out there working. That's in Montgomery. We're about, we're about to take over over there. Um, West Coast always got something going on, right? Um, Miami, Miami does pretty decent with some things down here, right? Um, yeah, yeah, Christy. Yeah, Montgomery. Montgomery coming up soon. We got a big event planning uh, in Montgomery, uh, July 20, 28. Uh, anyone have it in July 7th? So sorry. We'll be having a four or five-ish, at four or five-ish, please support, uh, who, to, oh, Tashani? Is that, is that Jamise? Please support when you see the Flyers team. Jamise, you talking about Tashani? Tashani's event? Tasari. Who's, who's Tasari? Oh, is that, oh, okay, Tasari. Is she the new young lady? Okay, Tasari. Okay, July 7th. All right, absolutely. So these are the things that we need to know so that we definitely can come out and support. I thought that was a typo. I got you now, um, Jamise. Thank you. Because when we know that things are happening, team, we can leverage one another. We can promote. We can share. Because I'm going to tell you, the energy, the connection, the collaboration is powerful. And that's what, you know, it, it, we make sure that we get this information out. Make sure you're putting it in the, in the Creative for Greatness group on Facebook. Some of you guys may be new. You're not in there yet. Bear with me. I'm going to get you. Nate and I are going to get you in there. Um, but this is a place in which you can put all the information. You can even go into this group and connect with one another. I would like to connect with the guy in Montgomery. Got you, Chrissy. Uh, with, um, definitely. July 13th. Okay, Princess. Uh, Tashani's event. Okay, wonderful. All right, awesome. So we put, we put these things into the group. You know, all of the different uh, events that are going on where the opportunity to connect, the tea parties, the whatever, spa parties, the whatever. We put them in a the group so that now we can connect. And in that Facebook group, you can now leverage and connect with people, all right, to see, okay, who's in my city? Who's around me? You know, what can we do? Let's connect. Let's collaborate. Let's build some relationships. Um, and find an accountability partner, somebody that, because one thing we don't do, sometimes people reach out to us and they want accountability partners. We're not connecting anybody to anybody because we might connect you to somebody who now kills your spirit and now you're blaming us. So you're going to connect with each other and now you figure out whether y'all relate and then you go from there, okay? So, but anyway, all right, great. That's, that's good information. But let's get the parties going, uh, team. Let's get them going and know that those that turn up during the summer months, you're going to reap the benefits um, as we move into the holiday season mode and school time begins to come back, all right? So we we'll look forward to connecting. Um, let's definitely get some parties going. And I think that's it for tonight. If I think of anything else, y'all will get a text message or something, put it in the group um, on Facebook and, or in our group. We still have our elite group where, you know, uh, they're definitely, uh, they keep that group going pretty, 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 pretty good, pretty good. And elite just means that you're binary qualified and you're on that 120 smart ship. And then, so it's a WhatsApp group that we have in which some people connect and they collaborate on a, um, on a closer level uh, with a few people in that group. All right, so go out and I claim New York September 14th. I'm going to walk. Go ahead, Jamise. All right, y'all see it? Jamise is entering the weight loss contest, looks like for New York. All right, go, to, go into your before and after pictures, tlccontest.com. Go vote, support our team. When we know that our team is out there, you can vote, all right? Go and vote. We, so, so whenever you guys enter the contest, please make sure that you're putting it in a group so we can all go out and support. And now we know to go and vote for one another, all right? We can vote, 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 because I think we can only vote one time to vote. You can vote for, for you know, everybody, every, everybody that's out there. And guess what? Now our whole team, we dominate the stage, okay? <laughs> and we have had some uh, amazing people win uh, the, the, con the contest, all right? All right, guys, so that's it. I don't see any questions, but it's been a um, pleasure spending this time with you tonight. Let's make it like, uh, close out strong, and remember tomorrow's a new week.
So take off running hard with your goals in front of you. Know exactly what you want to accomplish this week. And when you take the time to write it down, it is no longer a wish. It now becomes something that will become your reality. So write it down and let's go for it and go hard. All right. Good night, everybody. Love you guys. Remember, TLC is the place to be. It's for you and it's for me. That new diverse that I also see, that NRG is such a great company. So all we got to do is get up every day excited about life and realize that we are called to continue to change lives all over the globe. All right? See y'all later. Night, night. Yes, it's closed out. All right? See y'all. Good night, everybody. All right, Sean. I see you. <laughs> good night. Good night, everybody. It's for you and it's for me. New to first, I also see an energy great company. And I need the host. Right now, right now, I need to stop the flow. Right now, right now, I need to stop the flow. Hey, Troy, the city that it all began. Jack Fallon had the master plan. Kenny Stormy, Hammond, damn, yeah. Always wanted to do the win, yeah. They're trying to run the world and came back. See, I'm on the road and I'm the best. I dropped out. 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 I